Now what I want to do is, as I said before, I want to create the um, these points, you know, and then the uh, split lines that go from here to there and from here to there, as I showed you before. So let's see how to do that basically now. So I removed basically the, uh, the roof, okay, because we are going to make everything together, the roof and the points and everything. So, lo so let me just select this and go to add-ins again, rivet python shell and open the footprint document. So uh, let's see what do we need now. Basically to create these points there is in footprint, oh it's here, so in footprint we have we have um, we have methods in here, I believe, or not in here. No, it's not in here. So we have to look for something called slab. Slab. Um, okay, let's go back. So let's look for slab shape editor. Yeah, exactly. So in members, you have this draw points and draw split lines. Let's see how to do this. We need just a point. And in the draw split line, we need the start vertex and the end vertex to draw the line. So now what am I going to do is the following. I'm going to take the foot print roof and get the bounding box of it and then try to get the corner points okay and then i'm going to try to get the center point and then i'm going to draw split lines uh, by joining all the points okay so basically i'm going to try first of all to get the bounding box of the uh of the roof so let's type B B box is doc dot get found in box and as arguments I'm gonna pass the document uh and oh no this is a mistake basically so here I have to pass the footprint roof with capital letters here because because here I typed it with capital letters so as arguments we said doc and active uh, view and this is how I get the bounding box now using the bounding box I can get the maximum point and the minimum point basically so let's type b box max equals to bb box dot max and same thing for control c control v just changing this to min and this to min so basically what it does is let's say explain it here so basically it's like having a slab like this one so this is roughly speaking a roof all right and i'm going to yeah, so I got the bounding box and the maximum is here and the minimum is here. Okay, so basically I can use the Z of this point and uh, to get points on this surface. Okay, 
and uh, yeah, and I can I can use the x y of this point to use it as x in here to use it as y in here and so on. So I can get all the points in this bounding box. So I can get at the end a point in here, a point in here, another one in here. And then I'm going to show you how to get the center point. If you are interested in the center point, of course, you can do other things. You can get, for example, a line here and a line here. If you want, you can evaluate this line and get a point in here if you'd like that and another one in here or maybe just one in here and make a, something like this. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead now and uh, start creating the corners. So the first corner, we can call them uh, vertices basically. So let's call them, oh no, let's leave them corner for now. I'm going to use the word vertex afterwards. So the first one is going to be the B box itself, uh, the max one, as I said, and then Corner two is going to be a x, y, z. I'm going to create a point. I'm going to take the b box max, the the x basically, capital, and then b box uh, min. I'm going to take the y of it. And then I'm going to use the B box max again to take the Z, as I said before. And now we are going to do the same thing two more times. So I'm going to leave the Z as it is, as I said before. And I'm going to change these X and Y to get all the corners. So basically the second one, I'm going to take the min X and the max Y. And the last one is going to be the min and min and max Z. So now I got all the four corners points. The last thing to do right now is to get the center point. And to do this, I'm going to create a B box. Let's call it center. I'm going to take the B box um, dot, no, not dot, just max plus the B box min and divide them by two to get the center point. So now I'm going to get the center of the slab. It's not on the top, it's not on the, uh, on the bottom, it's just in the center. And this is not what I need for now. So what am I going to do is, again, B box center, I'm going to call it BD. And I'm going to create a new point that is going to use the, the X of this point and also the Y of this point. The only thing different is the Z. So I'm going to use the Z of this. This way I'm having all the points on the surface of the slab. Now, the center point, I don't want it to be uh, like, I don't want it to be um, at the same Z point as the other corners. I want it to be a bit lower. So here I'm going to type, for example, if I want it to be 500 millimeters lower, I'm going to type 500. And because the Revit API is working with the Imperial uh, units. So I'm going to type 304.8 to get it. Uh, because it's using feet basically, and I want it to be in millimeters. So I do this really 
quickly to get the right thing. Now we got all the points, we need to start drawing our uh, vertices. So let's go ahead and start with ver vertex 1 is uh, basically, let's go and take a look again in here. So draw point. It takes the slab, sh uh, yes, the slab shape editor class. So I need basically to create, first of all, a variable called, um, let's call it S. Um, okay, so let's call it basically SB edit shape or shape editor or whatever you want. Okay, let's call it like this. And in here, I'm going to type footprint roof, which is this variable, which is my roof basically, and dot lab shape editor. Okay. Now, why did I do this? Because I need it in here. So let's just copy this one. Point. Draw. Point. Yeah. And it takes a point as an argument. Draw point. So I'm going to start with the corner one. Same thing for all the other points. I'm just going to change this one to two, three, four, and five. And here it's going to be two, three, four, and the, oh, I didn't change them in here. So this is three. And this is four and the last one is this one so control c and control v there you go so now i have all the vertices ready now i need to join them using the split line i need to use the split line there you go so let me do the same thing and start Drawing them, saying SP line one equals to sub editor. Basically, it's the same. Control C, Control V, and uh, what was it? Yeah, draw split line, and the arguments are going to be so. Uh, Corner one to the center, corner two to the center, three to the center, four to the center. So I'm going to type corner one, first argument, and, or no, not corner one. I have to use the vertices basically. So it's ver, vertex one, and vertex five. And the same thing, just copy and print four times. This is two, three, and four. And here I'm just going to change this to two, three, and four. So now I join them all to the same center point. All right, I think everything is ready right now we have it all yeah so let's just again type window dot oh before the dot window dot close and click 
we have a mistake basically roof oh yeah so let's check where is the problem yeah so here put print this is ap all right so let me just save it Select these again and go to add-ins and open the same script and click again there is a problem active view is not defined great yeah so my mistake is basically in here so it's doc dot active view so again let's go back select all the walls and go again to add-ins open the same script and now it's working as you can see i have my points if i click on this point it's 500 exactly as i uh, want it to be and this is it yeah so uh i think we are done for today thanks for watching if you have any questions please uh leave them in the comment section so see you next time goodbye